Do you have a lot of empty vape carts? In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to empty your vape carts. I have a new product called the Vape Oil Extractor. It's basically an aluminum plate with a five by five grid of five, 10 threaded um, tapered holes on it. So you're easily able to screw in your vape carts to this and extract your oil. You can also use this for holding your vape carts when you're filling it, as well as preheating your vape carts in the oven if that's the thing that you like to do. So basically to show you how to use this, just take your vapes. Now you're gonna want to just unscrew the tops of your vapes. I sell screw top vapes where you can remove the tops easily on cartonpod.com. I do recommend using screw top vapes as you're more easily able to salvage any leftovers inside of them. Then simply screw each vape cart onto the top of the vape oil extractor, as so. And for the four corners, I recommend using um, carts that you previously extracted from an old batch and leave the tips on, and that way it will create uh, elevation with feet. Uh, this is my first round using it, so I'm just going to use four more empty vape carts that I pull out for the feet, and you'll see what I mean once I'm done setting it up. So let's fast forward to that. Each of these plates is handmade in Canada. Um, so there is some variance. These are just prototype plates. You might notice some are have a little bit loose of threads, such as the corner one here does. Um, keep that in mind when purchasing this initial prototype batch. Uh, on cartonpod.com, they will be labeled as such. Future batches won't have any of these uh, issues, but just do keep that in mind when ordering. These are a handmade prototype. So once you have all your carts screwed in, you can use any size cart for this holder since you're using the four corners with their mouthpieces on as feet to hold it up. Then we simply are going to take some parchment paper and a pan and place this in our oven. It's that simple. So we'll just take our pan here. For this specifically, you're gonna to wanna to use parchment paper and not wax paper. Just line your feet and then place the vape oil extractor loaded with carts onto the sheet as so and put it in the oven. You're gonna to wanna to use your oven's lowest temperature. So in this case, that's 170 degrees Fahrenheit for me, but whatever the minimum setting is, um, just enough to get heat to uh, melt out the vape carts. Now these are glass vape carts, not plastic ones. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this with plastic ones, but at a low enough heat, that should be safe as well. So let's put this in the oven and see how it work. Set your oven to the lowest temperature. And you're good to go. So I'm recording this just with the oven door open so you can see it better. Obviously you're gonna wanna do this with your oven door closed. I also added a second layer of parchment paper just cause I noticed that the pan was greasy. And I don't wanna deal with that later. Then once it's done, just pull it out of the oven. And you've got your oil. Once it's done, let it cool down or use oven mitts. You can see that all the oil is mostly removed. There's just a little bit in each. And you have your distillate. Now I did this in two batches. I replaced the parchment halfway through 
just because a couple of bait carts were completely full and they didn't want to drain. Uh, you can see that in the clips. Now I have four more that are more typical uh, with just more empty uh, vape carts. So I'll run these as well and then I'll show you how to get it off the parchment paper. So uh, let's see some more clips of them dripping in the oven. Now once you have your oil on your parchment paper, it's pretty easy to remove. You can just dab it and peel it off. If it's being a little more stubborn like this though, you can just go ahead and put it in the fridge and it'll cool down and you'll be able to pull it right off. It's all based on the temperature of it. So this one's been cooling down a little more. It'll come right off easy. That's the magic of parchment paper. Then just load it up into a jar or whatever container you want to store it in. Here I'm using one of the vials that are for sale at cardandpod.com. So this one's a little more stubborn. I'm going to grab something cold from the fridge. So this is just the ice cube uh, tray. Simply holding it over it will cool it down enough that you can snap it off real easy. See how much easier that is? I'm just gonna put the jar in the oven for a second to let it heat up and melt down so I can pull out the tool easier. Would you look at that? I basically perfectly filled up uh, one of my 20 gram or so uh, jars. So we got a good yield there from all those vape carts. And now I'm just gonna put this in the oven, heat it up so it's warm, and then I can put it back into vape carts. Or you can use it for edibles, or you can uh, dab it, whatever you wanna do with it. So the advantages of this plate basically are that since you can screw your vape carts into it, you can use any size vape cart. You can use big fat ones, thick ones, whereas other uh, types of holders like this might not be able to hold any size vape since they're not threaded. You shouldn't get much oil in it unless you're messy like I am, as the vape carts are hanging off of it and so the oil is a good distance away from the plate itself. So if you've got a lot of vape carts and you want to know how to empty them, go ahead and check out cartonpod.com and purchase one of these prototypes. There's currently only 100 available and uh, let's see how they sell. Now for making the vape cart, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this and throw it in the oven for about 5 minutes. Shouldn't take too long to warm it up at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we just want to get it viscous. I just want to warm it up enough that I can pull it into the syringe and fill it easy. These vials are oven safe, the lids aren't going to melt, and the glass isn't going to break from the heat. So I'll be filling it back up into carts from cartonpod.com. These are carts that I sell myself. They're high quality carts and they're ones I use personally. I wouldn't sell it, I wouldn't use it. And I'm just heating it at the same temperature as before, 170, whatever the lowest that your oven can go. If you have a hot plate, you're better off using that. And I'd recommend a temperature of around 140 degrees Fahrenheit as the optimal uh, oil temperature. So that's the temperature you want the oil to be, not necessarily you want the um, heat source to be. Obviously you want the heat source to be higher than 140 or you won't achieve 140 for quite a long time. So just uh, try and get your oil up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Or you can just kind of look at it and see when it you know, is liquid and flows easily and you think you'll be able to pull it into the syringe, that's when it's at a good uh, good temperature to start going. 
So here I can see there's a bubble moving. You know, it's got some good liquid flow in there. So it's ready to be filled into the vape carts. So I'm just using a regular 10 ml syringe. It's a sterile pre-sealed medical syringe. I'd recommend using glass ones, but these plastic disposable ones are fine. Your oil's not gonna be at a temperature that's gonna damage it. And these are a medical grade. So this is the same stuff that'd be sent into your veins intravenously, etc. So you don't have to worry about it. All right, so the oil's good and hot. Let's start filling. If you're having trouble pulling into the syringe, just go ahead and heat it up longer. Looks like this is still a little too cold. It doesn't want to quite flow into the syringe easily. So when you're fighting the syringe like this, uh, you just want to heat up the oil more, basically. I'll finish this one vape cart though, just to show that you can still do it. So you want to put the needle into the bottom and then fill it up. It's going to be just as hard to push it out of the syringe as it was to pull it in. So keep that in mind, and that's why you want to heat your oil up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about as much as I can push. It's hardened up. It cools down in the syringe, so it'll get even harder. I'm gonna cap that off for now. And I'll let this warm up some more. Gotta say, it smells amazing. There's such a mix of different terpenes in here. It's hard to even describe it. If you want to check out a video of uh, taste testing this in both uh, vape and on a rig, go ahead and check out my buddy's new channel. There's a link in the description and it should be above as well. See if I can pull this into the vape cart now. It might be hard at first, especially if your needle is clogged from before, but the hot oil will eventually flow through and warm up your current oil in there. If it gets completely stuck like this, you can just put your syringe in the oven. Remember, now this will be an issue if you just heat up your oil enough. So just let that sit for a few seconds, maybe a minute. There we go. Now it's flowing much easier into the syringe. Still not quite warm enough, having some trouble with the syringe, but it's filling. There we go. Now there's an even easier way to fill. You can use a filling gun. These will be in stock on cartonpod.com uh, eventually. But uh, these work by basically having a heated reservoir, as well as an easy to use steel and glass handheld syringe. So it's a lot easier in your hands and it can preload exactly the set amount you want per charge. So let's load this up instead and uh, get it going. Turn it on, it has a control unit. Set the temperature, I like to use 90 degrees Celsius just for the uh, container and pour in your oil that you wanna fill with. I'm gonna save some for testing later. Now I'll just let it warm up. So as you can see, it's much easier to use a cart filling gun to fill than a syringe, but either way, just having hot oil is the big difference there. The cart filling gun has a heated reservoir that's able to heat up the oil, so it's a lot easier to inject. If you want to purchase one, take a look at cartonpod.com and be sure to subscribe to the newsletter. It's not for sale yet, but it will be uh, for sale soon, and as soon as it is, I'll be sending an email out. In the meantime, the carts, the vial, and this new fake oil extractor 
is all for sale at cartonpod.com. Go check it out. And if you want to see me review this, as well as the vape carts, go check out my friend's channel. The link in the description below and in the annotation above.